What is the current status on all the bug fixes for Halo 2 and Halo 3 on PC? Well, 343 gave us a little status update. In this video, I'm going to give you all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news informational video. If you like these kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel it helps more people stay in the know by tapping that like button gets the video spread out to more people. So let's get right into the content here. As you know, the recent release of Halo 2 Anniversary has been uh, kind of messy. As my previous video stated, that was uh, there was a lot of issues going on with the games right now at the moment in Halo 2 and also in Halo 3. And 343 has been working pretty hard along with their partners at Saber, who are also helping them release these games onto PC. And we got a blog that has basically been going day to day of what the current process is at the moment with the fixes for these two games. And so I'm gonna give you all the information that they provided for us. Also in this video, I'm gonna give you an interesting view of how testing out these different bugs actually looks. As a bug tester, I actually recently posted a video giving you a little insight into the whole process. It's pretty tedious. Here's a detailed breakdown of the bug fixing process on the day of release. So when the game first launched, the entire team was in a bit of a, what they call a virtual war room and a call, kind of seeing what things are going on, if there's any minor issues or things going on like that. And around 10 p.m. is when they had their first attention brought to an issue, which was from Legion, a clip where he was trying to shoot rockets and basically they were killing his teammates and ended up getting booted. Kind of weird like that. I first saw that at 10 p.m., which of course is all Pacific Standard Time. This is two hours after release. Then at 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we, they gathered up a few amount of clips. They kind of started writing things up together, sending out through their QA community and engineering production teams to kind of get all together and be like, hey, some funky stuff is going on. And then around after 2 a.m. to around 10 a.m., emails for production on the MCC were sent to Sabre to kind of help let them know what's going on with the whole thing as well. So the next day they went in, they looked at it, tried to isolate and understand what the heck was going on with the current games. And this is what they said. For the Halo 2 projectile issue, they said it was discovered in the code, a portion that was meant for reading and writing to the local user's interpolation state However, it did not have bounds checking place. So we didn't handle the no local users case. This then caused an unwanted byproduct of writing to memory when it wasn't supposed to. Now it sounds pretty complicated, but essentially what was going on is that there was basically some kind of check system that was supposed to make sure that what you were doing in the game was coming from your perspective and well obviously that wasn't happening there's a check for that and apparently that check got a little mixed up as of may 14th when the team was looking through the halo 3 issues and they're still basically kind of trying to pile up a list together of everything to try to figure out what's going on to try to replicate and pin down what's causing a lot of these issues. Now, as of May 15th, it was stated here saying the team is verifying a potential fix for the Halo 2 bug, and our engineers are actively investigating the Halo 3 issue. During our Halo 2 investigations, we uncovered another odd legacy bug dating back to Halo 2's original release and have logged it for further investigation. Additionally, for Halo 2's projectile bug currently, 343 states, our test teams are continuing to verify the potential fix with our partner studios. We believe this issue is fixed internally, but will likely push to resolve additional issues like the Halo 3 bug below, which we will get to right after this, prior to release a full hot fix publicly. Once we have these issues resolved, we will let you know when to expect the update. Now this Halo 3 update does look rather promising, saying the team has made a handful of fixes that we believe may solve many of the issues we have seen and checked the code changes in. A build will be kicked off shortly and test teams will be online tomorrow verifying the changes across Halo 3. Though we believe we are making good headway, we still need to verify if these resolve the issues at hand. As we learn more from tomorrow's test, we will share that information with you. So this does look promising that these issues are actually being obtained, found out, and being worked on at the moment. Now there is no date being announced about when they can expect these bug fixes to happen, but at least we know that there is being some progress made already that we've already been able to isolate issues and figure them out, which this testing isolation issue 
It's very tedious. Actually, a, a developer currently working on the bug issues for Halo 2 Classic actually showcased a video online showing the process that they have to go through to figuring out how these bugs actually work. Down. Okay, Shane's looking down. All right. Now you, you look up. Haynes, you look down. Yeah, it's it's whoever's. Do, do a charge. Down. Do a charge plasma pistol. Hands look down. Hands look up. That didn't come. That didn't come from the sky. Look down. Now look down. No, that's now it's just straight up hitting. Yep. It's an insta. Not even aiming. Try, try, try running around in like small circles, like. So yeah, as you can see, rather tedious, but you know, this is how you bug fix games and work them out. So a lot of things need to be kind of just a slow grind to figure out exactly how to fix issues. Cause there's so many different moving parts when it comes to games like Halo, that it's not just simple, just like, oh, fix projectiles or something like that. You know, it's a long list of issues you need to kind of go through. As we get closer and closer to these updates, coming out to help fix the game guys i will definitely let you guys know on this channel as soon as that information becomes available and stay up to date as soon as the information comes out about the current status of these bug fixes because obviously halo 2 is a very loved game halo 3 is probably the most loved game in the entire franchise and having them both function improperly is just really heartbreaking for a lot of fans including myself though it sounds like the development teams working on mcc pc have actually been you know doing some pretty good work and figuring things out rather fast though i'm not going to try to give any speculation on time frames because obviously with bug fixes it's that's when it's ready when it's ready like currently at the moment right now ce and halo 2 anniversary multiplayer play very well so that's what i've been playing mostly since this update i'm actually currently working on a program that will count down timers for power weapons in halo 2 anniversary hardcore so i'm gonna put that together for you guys as well so what do you guys think about this information does this give you hope that this fix will come in rather soon maybe within the next month or less than that even in the next few weeks or is this kind of give you more doom and gloom that they still need to figure things out more well, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay updated with everything going on news-wise or information-wise with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe, guys. If you're new to the channel and miss any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a link to my playlist that shows all the news information videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. And another video if you want to check that out there. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.